Alright, we are now going to be writing equations from given information. Some of these situations are easier than others, and some of them we've actually already covered. Um, but, anyways, here they are, the three different ways we're going to ask you to write an equation from given information. The easiest first. So, if we were to tell you the slope and the y-intercept, that would be the easiest situation because you're going to use the equation y equals mx plus b. Well, m, of course, is the slope, and b, of course, is the y-intercept, so you just place the two numbers into the equation and you will be done. So y equals 1 6th x minus 12, and that's the equation. So you can hope that we give you a bunch of those, but as you know, there's going to be some of the other ones. Okay, so the next difficult situation is slope and a point. So if we give you a slope and we give you a point, we just did this on the last video. The point gives you an x and a y. So when you're using y equals mx plus b, you have the m, you have an x, you have a y, you're going to find b first. So we plug in 6 for y, 2 for m, and negative 2 for x. We're then going to say that 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then we're going to solve for b by adding 4 to both sides. So b is going to equal 10. Then our final equation must be y equals 2x plus 10. So we always fill in the slope and the y-intercept. Alright, the last situation. We do not give you the slope and we do not give you the y-intercept. So we're still going to use y equals mx plus b, but we don't know any of those except maybe an x and a y. But that's not going to get me far enough. If I don't have a slope or I don't have a y-intercept, I really need to find one of those. Well, we know how to find the slope between two points using the slope formula. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we're going to do that with these two points. Our m is going to equal 3 minus 4 over negative 2 minus 6. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. Well, a negative over a negative makes a positive one-eighth. So our slope is one-eighth. Now I have two points to choose from to plug in for x and for y. I've got an m, I have an x, and a y. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the, uh, the six-fourths. That's the one I choose. So that's going to be my x and my y. I plug in my y, which is four. I plug in my slope, which is one-eighth and the 6 for the x, and then we're going to calculate. Well, this is 4 equals 6 eighths plus b. Well, 6 eighths can be reduced. That's 4 equals, let's see, they're both divisible by 2, so that's going to be 3 fourths plus b. And if you're a decimal person, 3 fourths, isn't that just 0.75? So you're going to now do 4 minus 3 fourths, and that's going to equal your b. Well, 4 minus 0 0.75 is 3.25 for my b. So that means my final equation is y equals 1 eighth x plus 3.25. So that is the hardest situation we could give you, is where we have two points. There's no slope, no y-intercept, so you must find your own slope first, then find your y-intercept, and then write the equation.